Hey folks, this is Tico Harrington. Welcome back to XCOM 2 Tactical Legacy Pack. So let's continue on our way, and it came from the sea, where it is chrysalids. And under the sea is... well, under the sea. We made our way further up the coast by boat while chasing the DJ's signal. From what we pieced together, he had been building his own radio network across the territories that were still free from advent control. Rigging stolen relays and antennas up and down the seaboard to get his message across. He had managed to stir something else up. Whether it was the frequency or something in the equipment itself, the chrysalids loved the sound of his voice. To them, it was like the DJ had been ringing the dinner bell in every town he visited. Great. Well, that's wonderful now to hear. We had a working theory as to what was attracting the chrysalids. All we had to do was go in and destroy all the equipment the DJ had already installed. Oh, easy. Sounds easy enough, right? Well, it wasn't. Closer we got, the more Hello. We found. Okay. All right. So we've got some advent over there. Um, let's pull way up. Let's try to get some real distance. Um, unfortunately. Oh, hello, and a snake over here. Oh, okay. Um, let's get some height for our sniper. What about our specialist? Um, I suppose. And for Carla, sure. All right, well, this is not promising. To my loyal audience, I feel I need to get this out there. There's some rumors going around. Bug rumors. No. From the sounds of it, maybe I'm not that crazy after all. You're starting to see them too, right? The white things with the pointy legs, the clickety clack creepers. Um, I think I'm just gonna open on this pod. The other pod's moving away, so I think we're just gonna do it. Who's the most dangerous here? Unfortunately, it's the damn codex, but I can't shoot that right away. That's not a good one to start, and I could kill a sectoid. I could maybe kill a viper. That's a little optimistic. Trying to see how much health they have. I think they all have eight, don't they? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. And you have what? AP rounds? Is that what I just saw? Yeah. Well, is there someone else that I would like to start with instead? See, none of you guys up here can see them. Which is problematic. Um, Bradford? What are you rocking? Talon rounds. I feel much better about that being a kill. The real question is, what about Nikita here? Because I am not running up there with her. So actually, she's probably going to be who I want to open with. Even though you're definitely not going to kill something. Well, you could use an acid grenade, probably. Okay, let's do that. Let's start with Bradford. Um, I think Bradford can probably get rid of the Viper, and that's what we want to get rid of. All right, let's do this. Nice, well done. I don't want to get bound, is the problem. And I feel like my next priority is going to be the Codex. Yeah, hi. Oh, you guys are stuck out there. <laughs> uh, okay then. Well, this is better. Except... Oh, I can't get up to any of you guys, can I? Um, it looks like from over here, that's almost certainly not a safe place to be. But we could do it. Can you get anywhere where you can even see baddies? You cannot. Um, obviously we're not gonna go over here. Huh. Alright. That's not as good as it could be. You can actually see this guy, just go ahead and shoot him. Okay, well... You missed. This is probably safe-ish. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to shoot the Codex, so the Codex is just gonna, like, disable all of our guns. See, if you'd hit that Sectoid, we'd be in a pretty good spot here to kill the other one. But instead, I have to waste a full round on the other one. There's really no way you can get down here, huh? No, there's not. Alright, we'll come down to full cover, and you'll probably just end up there with an Overwatch. Alright. Well, I 
probably couldn't kill one outright anyway, so let's take out this one. The Sectoid will probably try to fear or mind control, which is annoying. We know exactly what the Codex will do. She'll probably bomb these three. Yep. Gosh, I'm smart. Now, if I'm feeling brave, of course, these are my two melees, and I can just run up there and sword these guys. I'm obviously not going that way. Oh, please miss. Please miss. Please miss. Okay, that's... Not great. Okay, well, at least it didn't activate anything. Okay. Isn't that a cheerful thought, by the way? Okay, so since we're already over here in kind of some trouble, if can I grapple over and flank it? No. Well, I mean, we're going to have to use justice. Because I'm not going to be able to get a grenade over there, and I'm obviously not going to grenade... Oh, actually, I could grenade just its cover. Now, I don't have blue screen is the problem. Didn't someone have an EMP bomb? Oh, you do. So that would ruin its day. But I don't think it'll kill it. You know what? Let's try it, though. I think that's one of the better options I have available to me. Oh, it's stunned! Yay! Okay, life is good. So actually, I could just shoot it now. Well, I can't shoot it, because obviously we can't reload. Um, will reload end your turn? Yes. So we could try Justice, or whatever it's called. Um, Harbinger, can you do anything good? Well, you're not doing that. Act well, geez, can you imagine this? How big is the map over here? Actually, this might be a perfectly safe place to go. Let's try it. Oh god, I'm so afraid of this. And... <gasps> we got away with it. Nice. Okay. So... Nobody can see this guy. It's too far away for justice, apparently. Okay. Oh, this is disappointing. Hmm. Do you have long watch? No. Well, I guess we're going to have to reload here. And I'm probably just going to leave you right there. That's ah, this stupid street sign. Well, I don't know what to do. Um, just stay here. You're in a good spot. Hi. How did you not activate an Overwatch there? I don't like scampering. Alright, we have seven turns to get over here. Oh god, I have no idea how we're going to make it over there. Um, let's group up a little bit. Um, yeah, this would be LOS if we had line of sight. Maybe, maybe here, just to move up a little bit. Yeah, that seems to be safe. Oh, I don't know if we can get there in seven turns. Alright, you don't have free reloads, do you? No, you don't. So just go ahead and reload. Okay. We're gonna have to move fast. Oh, you did have free reloads. Crap, and I wasted it. Once we actually got close enough to see the transmitter, it was clear as day that our DJ had failed to mention one critical detail. The damn thing was pure alien technology. Well, yeah. Not even Advent stuff. Something older. Oh. To this day, I still have no idea how he managed to get any of it working. Something o older? I'm glad this is making sense to you, Bradford. I can make it. Ah. Uh. Six turns. 
Oh, I don't know, man. Um, go ahead and reload Redford. Oh, hello. What do we got here? An officer? And I can't tell what else. Oh, nice shot! Oh, I forgot you have dragon rounds. Nice. Officer... Two troopers and a stun lancer. Okay, that's kind of gross, but it's not undoable. Okay, now it's looking less good. Wow, your gun is cool. Well, that's disappointing. So you proceeded to kill none of them. Okay, so from up here, you are flanked, so you can't stay here. You do have lightning hands, so I actually could get a little bit of work done with you if I have to. Also, you have grenades. Why do you have two grenades? That's cool. So, what can we do here? So Bradford can run up and sword one of them in the face. This seems to think you could kill the advanced trooper. I'm not super confident about that, but you probably could. Although, actually, if I'm going to kill you, I should do so with uh, Nikita here. Because then with momentum, I can use parry, and that way the Stun Lancer won't be able to hit me. But you don't have enough damage to kill it outright. We'd have to do some damage first. Oops. Um, alternatively... Hmm. Well, I can't leave Nessie up here. Because that's not going to work. She's going to get flanked and die. Because I don't think I can kill that officer. And although he is on fire, that isn't quite as helpful as it could be. Okay, so you can actually... 68%'s not bad. You know, why don't you take that shot? Because if you hit it, that opens up a lot of possibilities for me. And you hit it. Oh, okay. Hey, now we have lots of options available to us. Yes, we do. Why don't you go ahead and take this guy out? Yeah, Bradford's gonna be out of cover. If we use Bradford for melee, do we have to? 82, actually, we might not. Can you get any closer without getting flanked? Sort of. Yeah, come up just a little bit. If you can hit this guy, 96%, that saves me a lot of trouble. All right, this is actually looking good. I'm I'm liking this, actually. Okay, so now you're going to go ahead and rend, and you're going to kill the trooper. And then probably use parry. Nice shot. Because I don't think that we can get far enough away for the stun lancer to not be able to stun us. You know what I mean? So, um... Why don't you move up a bit? Yeah, take the 67. That's a better shot. Alright, you tried. That's okay. Oh yeah! And then we've got one more round over here. What does Justice look like? Ooh, Justice actually looks pretty good, but the problem is I don't really want to pull him over, you know? Because that'd be, that'd be bad news. How about you come over here? What's that look like on the officer? 59. It kind of sucks, but you know what? Take it anyway, because I don't want to pull the Stun Lancer over. That's a terrible idea. Hey! Nice. Alright, and now you're going to parry in the hopes that the Stun Lancer comes after you. Yep. Nice. Cool. Uh-oh. He had unknowingly positioned this thing to be the most efficient chrysalid bait possible. <laughs> so, there's chrysalids over here. Well, obviously, there's going to be chrysalids. Um, I can't even get over to that building, and I'm really uncomfortable moving that far. Why don't you go ahead and get the rend in, because then I can still move you along with us. I'll show you melee. Guess it's the last time you'll try to stun a Templar. 
Well, because he's dead. But you know what I mean. Um, I wonder if I should just move up and possibly activate here when I still have everybody else active or all their turns available. Yeah, let's do it. Yep. What do we got? Two chrysalids? Three. Th three chrysalids. Oh, and I'm not going to have LOS on any of them. I may have made a terrible mistake here. Just a terrible mistake. Okay, Bradford, let's get you way up here. I don't know if I can keep them from hitting her. Ooh, this is gross. I'm going. Okay, let's get up as far as we can. Oh my god, I can't hit anything. Huh. Alright. So we're going to take a hit. Oh, no, that's actually worse. Wow. Nice shot, Bradford. Okay, and what's the last one going to do? Mm, I was really hoping to get some overwatch on that. Oh, gross. Okay. So what can we do here? I cannot run over there. I can't do it. That's that's doom. And I can't kill these stupid things either. So they're just going to keep spawning chrysalids. Which is pretty unfortunate. Um, why don't you take this shot up close? I hate cocoons so much. Please hit it. Please kill it. Okay, well you didn't kill it. That's, that's disappointing. That would have been nice. But I understand. This is not a great place to be. Hmm. Central. We're going to get so many chrysalids. This is just going to be... This is going to be awful. Okay, how many shots can I get in here? I will go. Because I need to kill at least the chrysalids. Okay, so you've got a 79 in the back. Bradford, what does yours look like? Oh, no, okay, you've got a 100. So you, actually, why don't you kill the chrysalid in the back? Not, not that. Not that. That. All right. As far as good. Okay, come on. So, can I get my sniper up close enough to use a pistol? N no. Unfortunate. That would have been pretty cool. Okay, move all the way up. Um. Why don't you take that shot? Seriously? You missed what? A 92? All right. All right. Three turns left. We have killed, a, like, every single turn we've been killing guys, and I still don't know if we're going to make it in time. Yeah, hi. Oh, you're big chrysalids. I almost felt bad about wishing I had on him. Almost. I mean, he did bring it on himself. Stolen equipment aside. Did oh. Did you think the aliens were just going to let him mouth off all day with no reprisal? We all know the aliens love a good reprisal. Hmm, so if I move up here, we're going to activate those two over there. Yuck. Okay, what would my Ren damage look like if I were to do that? Not that. This. So you definitely kill it. And you'd have parry available. I don't think these can attack on the first turn they spawn. Which is good, I guess. But I only have two rounds left. I have to activate that back pod so I can shoot them with my snipers. So we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to do this crap. Oh, this is this is gonna be. Ooh. So is this going to be within line of sight at least? Hold on. Is this gonna be within line of sight of the device? Here will be. Okay. And we're just gonna have to deal with all the chrysalids in the world. So let's just do it. Tear you apart. 
I mean, she's gonna stay there and parry. Oh, three more, okay. Okay, now you can see the device. Can you see the device? Yes! Oh, this is actually gonna take two runs just to kill it. Okay. Okay, well, we're just barely gonna make this, aren't we? Okay, Bradford, come down here. Um, from over here, you'll have Bladestorm. Doesn't seem to be any more Advent, but come over to here anyway. So we'll have a Bladestorm that will probably be safe for him to stand there. And we'll have Parry. So that's not as bad as it could be. Um, let's see here. What else do we have left? I just don't think it's worth shooting the cocoon, to be honest. How about you reload and shoot from up here? Actually, where could I go? Over here. That is not a safe place to be. Well, actually, it might be. The question is, can I kill this other chrysalid back here? Um, yeah, easily, actually. I should have reloaded first. I forgot. I did. Okay. Come on. Okay, how about you reload and stay here? Just Overwatch. And you go ahead and parry. Okay, and you're just gonna keep killing civilians. Because that's an awesome thing to have happen. Come on, Bladestorm! Yes! Well done. And Perry should keep you safe. <laughs> that was awesome. It's too bad I can't follow that up. Yeah, hi. Yeah, hi. I don't remember it taking this long. We're probably pushing the limits of the story here. Yeah, I've noticed. Hey. Not sure how much longer I can hide it. I just wish I could have at least broadcast this grand finale. I barely got the chance to get my feet wet. All right. Well, we can go ahead and take the device down. So let's go ahead and let's do that. Nice shot. Okay. Okay. That was one transmitter down, but our job wasn't done yet. Yeah, no kidding. Okay. So what can we kill? You can kill that one. Okay. Is Ren going to be enough to kill all of these? That one for sure. That one for sure. That one probably not. Okay. How about Bradford with his sword? Because we want to get up in place. So definitely, definitely, probably not. Okay. And what do your shots look like from up here? Very good, but I don't know if you'll be able to kill it. So let's take the two kills with our melee. Let's leave Bradford up here for Bladestorm. Let's get our kill back here. And then use momentum to do something. I don't know what yet. Um, come on over here. Yep. Yoink. Nicely done. Okay, and I'll think about your momentum. I haven't decided quite what to do with that yet. Bradford, um, come on up here through Bladestorm. Well, your sword and then your Bladestorm. You know what I mean. That's a cool sword. And then... You've got a 100% chance on this guy, so go ahead and take this shot. That armor's tough. Ooh, that's not quite enough to kill it. Because it's got... Um, I know it's burning, but I don't know what that percentage is. Um, there's a button somewhere to see how much it was, but I don't remember. Well, that's basically all we've got available. Do you have any height advantage on this thing? Yeah, that's plus 20%. Um, I guess come right over here. So, don't screw it up. Nice. Okay. Okay, we should be good. I don't think the ones off to the left can get to us. Well, I guess we'll find out. Okay, and with momentum, 
I don't feel like we need parry, to be honest. So, um, I guess just move over a little bit. Yeah, that one can't get to us. Oh look, more chrysalids. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so I probably want to take this shot. Because I can kill you with Rend. Then, yes, that would be a good follow-up. Bradford? Um, I'm probably going to depend on your Blade Storm over here. And we should have a follow-up anyway, right? Where's my specialist? Okay, yeah, you can see all of them. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, this is this is fine. So go ahead and take this shot. There you go. Nice shot. And we'll polish this off with Rend. Okay, good. Okay, Bradford. Um, why don't you come get the one? Actually, maybe you should come down to the bottom. Yeah. You're more likely to survive if something runs at you. Like a little chrysalid. Gosh, that sword is awesome. Okay, and you've got a 93. Should I move over a little bit? No, I'll reload and shoot from here. Really? You decided to miss a 93. Okay. Um, what's the closest I can get then? To shoot you right in the face. 100%. Okay. Better. Okay. Oh, and then momentum. Um, come way over here. Hi. Nice. Good hit. You're fine. Relax. Provided the other one can't get to him. Okay, the other one can't get to him. We're fine. Okay, so... I'd love to use a heal, but that's going to end your turn. So you can't see anybody at all, which is very disappointing. If you come up here, you can actually get a pistol shot on the guy down below, so do that. Should I take lightning hands just in case? Yeah, I really need to kill this. Okay, good. Well done. So then, this guy over here only has 5 health. Can I get there with Rend? I can. Nice. Oh, cool. Alright. Hmm. Um, this is a hard pass. Just, no. Spider suit, that's good. Um, I guess another spider suit's okay. Replace rounds with vests? Are you kidding me? What a terrible idea. Alright. And what do we get? Deflect? Okay, I don't know what that is, but we'll find out. Channel, run and gun, yay, quick draw. Nice, we're building a pistol sniper, they're the best. Uh, field medic, good. Full throttle, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, hello, and we have a psyop with Soulfire Stasis and Inspire. That is really, really good. Nice. Okay, but at this point, let's go ahead and let's take a break. So when we come back, we'll try to find more chrysalids and then slice them into tiny bits. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.